Hi guys, my name is Ari and welcome to my channel. It is finally December, so today we are going to be showing off a Christmassy house. I might end up doing another one in a little, little bit, maybe more of a cabin, more than a house. This one was supposed to start off as a cabin. It quickly turned into a house when I decided that I wanted to include a laundry room. Um, but we're still trying to give it the cabin feel, which is why I went for the wooden panels outside. Um, I think it turned out pretty alright, but you know, let me know in the comments what you what you think of it as well. It is a one bedroom, one bathroom. It's very Christmassy. Um, it does have a separate kitchen, separate laundry, separate lounge area. Um, I actually really enjoyed how this turned out and it gives me quite the feel of like maybe old people would live here, maybe even Santa Claus. Um, as you continue watching you'll see I did include like a big red chair next to the fireplace as if Santa lived there so definitely could have a Santa living there if you wanted it to. Um, at this point I'm just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep the theme for once all the same. Normally I kind of have different wallpapers for different rooms, um, but I decided this house was going to be kind of similar in all of its its rooms. I um, started on the lounge or entertainment room. I don't know what you guys call it. We call it a lounge. But, um, Here's that chair I was talking about. I wanted to make sure that I had enough space to make it super Christmassy. I was kind of just wanting to put all the decorations up, put them everywhere, make sure we had that tree so that when Santa came, we would be sorted. Because um, I only found out maybe like three days ago that you had to have a fireplace for Santa. Um, I had been wondering why he hadn't come to my house yet, and then, yeah, I was reading it, and I was like, please have a fireplace, and I was like, oh, that, that makes sense. A lot of it's going to be just me trying to figure out what does go where, um, in the sense that I still don't know all the current, um, stuff that I've gotten in my packs, so a lot of it is just trying to figure out what we have, and what looks good, where would it look okay. Um, I went with the Christmas cards. Personally, we have like Christmas cards everywhere in my house. So I like that idea, especially how it hangs like that. I uh, struggled to figure out how to put these on the outside and as it goes on, you'll find that I actually learned how to kind of make it right and it does become a lot better on the outside than what it does here. Uh, when I was making the kitchen, I found out that there was jandal lights, which is obviously very Kiwi, I felt, um, especially since our Christmas is in summer down here in New Zealand. I went crazy with them, I guess you could say. I was extremely hyped about it. So uh, our kitchen quickly became the uh, jandal room, which it just... It's so Kiwi. I, I freaking love it. I'm not going to lie. I think it's like the best room in the house, kind of. Um, a lot of it's me just trying to figure out, you know, what oh, what goes where. Talking about what goes where. Where do you guys place your Christmas trees in your house? Ours is always in our lounge. Um, but, like, do you have more than one? Have you ever had a Christmas tree in, like, your kitchen area or your family room as well as the lounge? Do you use a real Christmas tree? Do you use a fake Christmas tree? This year we managed to get a real one and I'm super excited. Every time I walk into the lounge, it's just like that smell of Christmas and it's so amazing and so good. I've, I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. We haven't had a real Christmas tree in so long. Anyway, back to the, uh, the video. I swear there's like another kind of um, what is that? It's not like a, a bench cupboard that you could have in the laundry. That has plates in it. So 
it was kind of what I was aiming for, but I didn't want it to have plates in it, so I kind of just went with it anyway and hoped that people wouldn't look and see that it was like plates in that cupboard. Um, if you guys know if there's like another cupboard somewhere that has is like for a laundry pack, please let me know because I really don't know where it is or what it would be under anyway. All right, so we're working on the um, bedroom. I didn't want to have like hanging down lights. I kind of still wanted Christmas lights and I couldn't find anything that was ultimately over the top Christmassy and lights that I could put on the wall. So that's why we went with the um, lights from the spa pack. And I think they actually look quite nice. They have like a quite, like a glowy look instead of like a really harsh light. Um, I then found these decorations, which I decided is perfect for my smaller rooms that I could put literally anywhere. So I did. Um, when I was making the bathroom, it quickly became apparent to me that something was out of shape here, but I can't remember why. Um, but we did manage to make the bathroom look good in the end, I think, and it's kind of nice and small not too over the top. I like having the mats down on my bathrooms in my own personal house. We do have bathroom mats, but I know other people have said that it's weird to have bathroom mats. What it, what's your guys take on it? Do you guys use bathroom mats or nah? Um, I wanted to add in some decorations in the bathroom even, but they're all kind of paper looking and I was kind of like, maybe not just because I don't want to have like soggy decorations. Um, that's how I kind of felt about it. Um, but otherwise I really liked how the house turned out very Christmassy. I didn't know what to add in the back. I didn't want to just have it like a barbecue area. And then I thought the skating rink would be amazing. And then you could have like people over and they could go skating. I still included kind of like a hangout area along the side here so that people could still hang out kind of like kind of like your really rich grandparents who <laughs> apparently has a skating rink but you could still hang out with and have like a good lunch I guess that's the vibe it ended up at um, by the end of it I uh, wanted to add some trees and stuff oh that's not even at this part my bad <laughs> this is where I figured out that you could actually add a these decorations kind of everywhere and it just needed to be up more than what I was kind of putting it at the beginning so that was my bad um, obviously some of them don't fit entirely if your house is kind of uneven like mine the last part really bothered me I could not make it fit so I just added a few of those and I believe I did it here as well um, but it kind of goes it makes it look all right so I won't be too harsh about it <laughs> I hope you guys like this um, definitely tell me what you think I could improve on otherwise um, but I think the house itself looks really good and I think that the decorations look really good like I said it definitely has like an old older person's house vibe um, I added some trees for privacy obviously especially with the skating rink I wanted to have it kind of like you know people weren't always lurking I also don't want people to like constantly come in the back of my sims house because that that wall's no longer there but that probably will happen but uh yeah I kind of was streaming this actually and I got to the end and I realized I didn't like the house personally I wanted a lighter roof and then I couldn't just figure one out we did eventually come across this this one and I liked it so tell me what you guys liked more the kind of blackish roof or the kind of pinker roof I think the pink one looked a lot better um, I did upload it so if you wanted to download it it's under airy fairy Aries with two eyes fairy is with one um, that's where you'll find all my stuff I have added in some screenshots here so just chill and watch them and, you know, leave a comment, tell me what you think and um, I hope you have a great December. Thanks for uh, hanging out.